Hey there, Dango Stu here. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick video um, on how to get uh, a reflector like this uh, up and back state. Uh, I haven't done these sort of mechanical videos for a while because uh, off sailing at the moment, very nice. Looking very burnt, I know. Um, so um, I just thought this would be an opportunity, it's a job I've got to do anyway, so I thought it would be an opportunity just to, to post some video in the next time while I'm away rather than leaving it too long. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do to, to get this up is use the um, Halyard for the mainsail. So um, there's, uh, you know, you've always got limited resources on a boat, um, and I think this is where it's sort of important to sometimes think a little bit laterally and um, just look at what you do have available. In this case, it's the easiest way, probably the safest way as well, uh, to get this reflector up the back, up the uh, backstay without climbing up their ladders, anything particularly dangerous. So what I'll do first, we'll go over to the mainsail and I'll just show you uh, what I'm talking about. Um, we'll disconnect that halyard and we'll bring it down here. So, looking up, here's the, uh, here's the mast, and here's the halyard that uh, is what you use to raise the mainsail. Sorry, I'm a little bit short to uh, get you a good view on this. Um, this one, the halyard actually goes through, it's actually the lazy jacks, so and it's actually called the run spreader. But it's okay, so what I'm going to do is disconnect it uh, from the top of the sail here, and then we're going to walk it over to the back and start using that to raise this. Uh, so I've just got a, uh, uh, an extra line here. The halyard's obviously not long enough to reach the back of the boat. It's just designed to reach the sail. Um, and this is actually probably going to work out perfectly. So I've got this uh, clip here. Oh, sorry, bad framing. Um, and, um, and so this is the end I'm going to use for raising this up. The other end I've just fed over the bimini. Uh, and then I'll just attach it to the end of the halyard there. So here we are. This is the uh, just the extra extension line. Halyard end still going up to the top of the mast. Sorry, this is the lamest video ever. I've got uh, no tripod or anything here, but I just want to say hi, really. All right, that's done now. Uh, just a bowline around this uh, uh, shackle, so that's all good to go. Um, now I'm going to attach the other end to the reflector, and we'll see if we can hoist it up reasonable height. The higher it is, the easier it is for ships to see you, so it's a good thing. To attach this to here. I'm going to use a knot that I can uh, have on the end of a line and I can pull that line and have the knot fall apart. Um, that way when I get it up to the top I can just disconnect this whole thing and it's all free and I can disassemble it. So I'll show you that quickly and uh, then we'll do what I need. I don't know how successful this is going to be. Um, I'll try and show you this from an opposite perspective. It'll give you an idea of what the knot's about. Uh, I'm going to do a video down the track when I get home again. Um, that will be just all on sort of knots and things, so I'll show it more clearly then. The main idea is a loop comes around something, and then you can pass the standing end through, and then put another end through. Once you've done this, you have a loop. This is just a the very end of the rope. This is the bit I'll be tagging all the way to the, to the deck. I can pull on this, but when you pull on this part, the whole thing just sort of falls apart. So it'll, it'll look better when I do it on there and I'll show it to you. It's just really difficult to show you how to tie it properly here, but that's the, that's the idea. Definitely look out for a knot video in the future and I'll show it much, much better than that, I promise. I hope. So here it is rigged up. We've got this knot here, which is a sort of a slip knot that I can release with this line. In the end of that line, I've just put a little bow line and hook the cleat on there. Sorry, I know this camera's trying to focus behind, so it's not that clear, but we'll get it up in the sunlight and I'll show you. And now it's all rigged up there. All I really need to do is uh, pull on this main halyard. All right, as always, when you make it go along, there was a fatal flaw to this plan, and that was getting the halyard back down. So this line goes off to my reflector. The blue line I pull disconnects the reflector um, from this line. And this line here is what I'm going to use to pull the halyard back down. Start pulling this halyard. Let's just go and have a quick look. Yeah, so far so good. Another quick look. All right, it's getting tighter.
So there's a fair bit of resistance in this uh, reflector attached to the stay. Obviously it needs to not drop back down. So I'm just going to put this uh, phone down, use two hands and see how high we can get it. So I'm actually going to be really lazy and just winch it up. Never do for yourself what a machine can do for you. I'm just going to go and check it periodically still. If anything is going wrong, I'd rather find it out. Uh, so far, so good. It's getting up there. A couple more metres and it should be good. So, up pretty high now. Uh, you can see that black line coming down. It's going to help pull the halyard back down. That blue line that I need to use to disconnect the halyard from the... Uh, oh, it's dropping down now. Um, wasn't quite long enough. Um, when the wind drops, I'll grab it. There it goes, moving around. Um, so next time the wind drops, I'm going to grab that. We'll um, so thanks for watching. I guess I don't know what this video is about, really. Um, it's probably got terrible audio too, all this noise. Um, really, it's just to say I'm on holidays. Um, so sorry about the lack of videos. I definitely haven't lost interest or anything. They'll be coming, but uh, not at the same pace until I get back home. Um, but I guess the take-home message for this one really is when you're on a boat, try to find the safest way. Like at no stage did I have to climb up uh, any part of this boat to do this. It all happened from deck level. So I think it was the safest way to do this job. Um, and really, if you look around on a boat, have a think about it before you um, launch into a job. Generally, there's, there is some way of achieving almost all the jobs in a safe and relatively painless way. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it sort of gives you some ideas about how maybe you can do things on boat when you're at sea and you don't have your full workshop and all that sort of thing available. But, um, you know, just, uh, just, I guess, stay safe, have fun, and just have a think about what resources you've got. That's really what it's about. So, take care. Um, I'll catch you when I get back. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll catch you soon. See ya. Oh, you're probably wondering. This is uh, Montevestia. It's in Greece.